Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on how to use uh, Blender and Unity. Unity is a game programming environment for the Macintosh and uh, Windows computers, but it works much better on the Macintosh. And uh, I'm building an iPhone game right now called Blade Lords. And um, as you can see here, I have sort of a sword fighter character. It looks like a, he's a, a paladin. I kind of dragged him in here from my assets folder. And uh, this level here is kind of reminiscent of some of the levels in uh, um, Soul Calibur. I built that in Blender as well. And um, let me show you how easy it is to use uh, this um, character, uh, which was animated in Blender, and bring it in to, uh, to Unity here. So um, I animated this character in uh, Blender, and as you can see here, uh, off the start is that every animation that I did, let me, for one thing, I'll double click on him, and you'll see that when you double click, it launches Blender right away. And uh, as you can see in here, I have a listing of all sorts of different actions. There's a jump action, if you can, if you can see him here. Okay, there's my paladin jumping, and um, I have a uh, an uppercut. He does an uppercut. Uh, let me show you from the side because that's oops. All right, he does an, an uppercut action, and uh, he does special uppercut like the spinning move so anyway I, I animated all these different uh, actions in here in inside of blender and as you can see each action is its own little action here in the action editor of blender and uh, once I've saved that out um, when I go and bring that into unity as you can see here by uh, when I expand this everything that I did in there the armature the camera all the different actions they all get imported in as well so this is perfect for a game environment where you need to transition from one action to another and be able to 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 tell it okay now do the jump animation now do the uh, run animation now do the uh, die animation and uh, what's great about uh, using blender is the fact that um, you can you each one of these has its own timeline and uh, as you've seen in my other tutorials um, using the timeline uh, action editor in Blender is, is quite quite easy and, and fun way to animate. And um, when you make changes to these, I'm not going to really do it now, but if I were to make a change to this animation, uh, as soon as I save and quit out of Blender, when I come back to Unity, it will automatically update that animation in here. And um, so uh, everything will be listed here. You can set the wrap mode, which is... You know, you can have the animation play once, loop, ping pong, or play once and stop, which is what Clamp Forever is. And uh, yeah, that's that's um, it's it's quite an easy thing to 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 deal with. And uh, also in here, uh, you can see that the amateur, every single uh, bone in the amateur is imported as well. And even though they don't show up as bones, I'm clicking on them. For example, when I click on the bone that the sword was parented to, or I'm, I'm sorry, that's the actual sword object. Um, uh, you know, I can go ahead into Unity and I can, for example, create a, a particle system. And even though you can't see it now because it's kind of small, uh, I can just drop that into uh, this. Uh, I'll lose my prefab connection. I don't care about that right now. I'll explain prefabs in another tutorial. But now, wherever that sword goes, that particle system is, is going to be parented to it. So you can start messing with it. And as you can see, everything is, is accessible in here. I'm going to uh, delete that from the game. And then I'll open up um, uh, I'm not going to save that. OK. So let me just run this. I'll show you a little example of, of characters doing things. Now, it's going to run extremely ultra fast in, in this simulator without it running through the iPhone. So it's going to look ridiculous because the enemy is going to be throwing axes at me like 10 at a time and stuff like that. But I can at least show you a couple of the buttons and whatnot. So uh, I'll, I'll choose uh, Satoshi, who's who's the samurai character. And you can just get a, a, just a hint of what's going on here. Like, for example, you can move. And as you can see, I'm taking a lot of damage here. I can block. And this is the uh, Egyptian level of the game. And again, it's it's all a work in pro progress. But all those animations, of course, I got killed because it's moving so ultra fast. But all those animations were done in Blender. And, for example, if I were to show you um, Satoshi, which I just have listed as the samurai. 
as you can see again all his animations are in here and everything his katana everything like that the um, the textures that I created that all gets imported as well if I open that up okay gotta quit out of that if I double click on that and there is my samurai character doing his various here's an animation that he's done here I hope the screen capture software is capturing that but um, so again I, I it's it's perfect it's perfectly set up for a game environment because of the fact that each animation can have a separate timeline and uh, also unity in order to get it to crossfade between from one animation to another let me give you an example of a unity script here if I can find my scripts uh, my scripts and I'll show you um, some of the uh, scripting that went on player controls okay you can see right here and um, it's to get uh, the animations to fade from whatever it's doing to the other it's just this this one um, with these two lines of code basically animation dot cross fade fade uh, and then the name of the animation and then animation dot wrap mode equals wrap mode dot for exi example here uh, the block animation I want to only play one time so I just say once if I wanted to loop I would say loop if I wanted to ping pong I would say ping pong but um, it actually does the uh, blending of the animation for you so that it doesn't just jerk into place uh, it's, it's quite a nice system well I hope that that little uh, look at uh, unity and blender will help you out in your uh, future game programming endeavors